purpose of this experiment is to showcase to children how a plastic membrane can filter water far more efficiently than other filters they may be aware of. You will need some muddy water, a fine sieve, a regular coffee filter, and also the plastic syringe and plastic membrane found within your polymer kit. We take our muddy water and we're going to pour it through the sieve. And as you can imagine, some of the larger bits of mud and insoluble materials will be caught by this sieve, purifying the water slightly. So now you can see some of the larger bits that couldn't fit through the sieve have been filtered out, leaving us with a slightly finer suspension of mud and water. Taking our newly formed suspension, we're going to pour it through the coffee filter. As this filter is a little bit finer, it will take a bit more time than the first sieve to actually pass all the suspension through. You can then remove the filter. And as you can see, there's some finer sediment left over from the filtration process. Taking the plastic syringe that you find within your polymer kit, we're going to draw up some of the second suspension that we formed. Now we have the suspension inside the syringe, it's time to attach our plastic membrane. We simply hold the syringe over our third and final plastic cup and using a little bit of pressure, force the water through the membrane. And as you'll see, the water coming out is a lot clearer than the previous two suspensions. And that's it. Now you can get the children to come and look at the difference in clarity between the three suspensions. Now if I take my plastic membrane and compare it to a cleaner one, show to the children the difference in the colour to show that material has been filtered out of the water. Again, it's important to showcase to the children some of the real world applications of these plastic materials. For example, this membrane would be used at a sewage plant on an industrial scale to help treat the water. 